So let's come and talk about these Xamarin Forms. So what is Xamarin Forms? So basically it's an open source UI framework uh, that allows developers to build Xamarin Android, Xamarin iOS and Windows applications. Of, of course, using a single shared code base, which, which this, that's what we have seen so far. So it allows users or developers to create user interfaces in XAML with code behind in C Sharp. So these, these interfaces, the important thing is these interfaces are now rendered into performant native controls or native views on each platform by the Xamarin Forms compiler. So the entire processing is taken care of by Xamarin Forms. So what Xamarin Forms is for? It is basically for developers who wants to share UI and design across multiple platforms, who wants to share codes, test and bus uh, business logic across all platforms and of course write cross-platform applications in C-Sharp. So that's, that's what Xamarin Forms is for. Now with that, let's see. So it's basically an UI library which is compiled for multiple platform devices to develop native applications. So that summarizes what we say. Along with that, Xamarin Forms provides a consistent API for creating UI elements across you know platforms. So the API can be implemented either in XAML or C Sharp. And uh, the exciting things it uh, exciting things are it supports data binding for patterns such as MVVM as well. So at, at runtime, Xamarin Forms utilizes says platform uh, renderers to con convert this cross-platform UI elements into native controls, as I said. So to uh, the corresponding native controls, which is Android, iOS, UWP, uh, Windows, Windows Forms, and uh, WPF, whatever. So this now allows the developers to actually get the native, exact native look and feel. Uh, with a performance that is on par to the native with the huge benefits of code sharing and of course Xamarin forms uh, applications you know typically consist of the, the project structures are uh, typically consist of a .NET standard library and the individual platform projects so the shared library contains the XAML and the C Sharp uh, which is the business logics and UI uh, such as models or any other codes uh, the platform projects are uh, just you know um, any platform specific logic if in case that is required uh, for the application so that's all about Xamarin forms so what it includes is you know it includes huge number of things which is which in includes various pages layouts views and cells that has that is all required to develop the UI uh, whichever is available on the native and it allows access to almost every specific platform uh, UIs through injections and using custom renderers. So that's exactly what we need everything to develop a mobile application. So let's let's talk about these Xamarin Forms 5 updates now. The minimum version which is required for Xamarin Forms 5 to be working is Visual Studio 2019. So, so let, let's talk about the few important updates that uh, that are you know available on Xamarin Forms 5. So, the UI web view has been removed to address the Apple's upgrade up, um, like update guidance. So, unless you have intentionally opted into you know use any UI web view in your source code, uh, then you are already safe. So, you don't have to do anything additional if you are using Xamarin Forms 5 to to get through the Apple's uh, approval and uh, the next thing is the media element expander and c-sharp ui markup extensions have been moved to xamarin community toolkit library so now you can install this nuget and update your code accordingly you'll, you'll probably want this library anyway as it has a lot of valuable solutions every app needs and uh, data packages and theme packages should be removed from your solutions these experimental packages are no longer supported and this is an optional update uh, the master detail page and related types have been renamed to flyout page and similar so this is basically just a deprecation and your apps will still continue to work now without any change that is required however it is recommended to refactor before you know we get into the 
dot net m a u i so let's now talk about the certain important features that are you know available in xamarin forms 5 so the first one is brushes so brushes are nothing but uh, 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 a view that enables you to paint an area just background of a control using different approaches so xamarin forms is you know uh, now uh, released this which is available on, uh, on namespaces on android ios mac os and uwp and of course on wpf as well and the next item is the carousel view so this is one exciting thing uh, to to present your data in a scrollable layout where users can swipe to move through a collection of items so you, your data has to be bound to the item source property you can you can bind in any collection that implements enumerable data so you, you, the ui of you know the data that needs to be looked can be customized using the item template property and and by default the carousel view of course displays the items in horizontal list however it also uh, has access to the same layouts as a collection view including a vertical orientation and uh, it is also possible to access the current item and position properties that that uh, that allows you to pick the currently displayed item in the carousel view and one exciting thing is collection view allows us to you know specify empty view which is you know when there is no data available for display in the collection view it allows us to display a uh, display a view that can be you know anything uh, which can be a string or multiple views or combination of uh, views that, that that lets the user communicate there is no data to show for this collection view and uh, uh, when when the user initiates a scrolling so it is possible to uh, control the scroll uh, so that the items can be displayed fully in the screen so uh, scrolling has one such uh, uh, behavior and there are of course two two scroll to methods that uh, that allows us to programmatically scroll to the items into the view so these are some of the handy features that are available on xamarin forms and the next item is drag and drop so it's it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a gesture uh, that enables items and uh, the associated data of course to, with the items to be dragged and dropped from one screen location to another screen location so that, that's basically a continuous gesture movement and uh, the the exciting thing is drag and drop can take place within a single application or it can start in one application and end in another one so only thing to be noted is you know it is supported in android ios and uwp platform however on ios uh, a minimum version of ios 11 is required and the, the, the drag source which is the element on which the drag gesture is initiated uh, provides the data to be transferred and uh, when the drag source is released the drop occurs so th there is a drop target which is the element under the drag source so that process of the data package of course so that's how it typically works and the next one is the indicator view so which is again a new uh, view introduced in the recent release uh, that displays indicators that represents the number of items or the current position in a carousal view it, it's, it's basically predominantly for the carousal view uh, which has many properties to be customizing uh, such as the indicator color the indicator size can be customized the layout the appearance on which the indicator view appears can be customized there is an item source property to which the collection that the indicators uh, will be displayed for so this this pro the one thing to be noted is this property will be automatically be set when the carousel views indicator view property is uh, set you don't have to do anything extra so these are something about the indicator views and of course radio buttons uh, that allows us to now create radio buttons in xamarin forms uh, which allows us to use radio buttons in xamarin forms you don't have to rely on any custom controls anymore and the next one is xamarin forms shapes and paths so shape is basically uh, basically a type of view that that allows us to draw a shape to the screen so it can be used inside uh, 
layout classes and uh, and 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 then any other any controls because you know it's basically a view so so and uh, it, it also has various properties such as fill property strokes the the shapes can be dashed um, uh, and it also has an offset property to control the dash and uh, the thickness of the strokes can be uh, controlled and uh, various other properties and uh, the, the the strokes can be basically of uh, brush objects or it can stretch uh, the shapes as well and uh, you can draw dashed shapes as well there are a lot of things that need that can be known done using the shapes and talking about paths path is basically you know it's, it's, it's basically technically a class that is derived from shape so that allows us to draw curves and complex shapes so as simple as it is so it can be you know um, uh, described using geometry objects or strings so that's what this path is all about so the path defines the two properties one is the data uh, which is of type geometry the, that specifies the shape to be drawn and next one is the render transform which is of type transform that represents the transform that is applied to the geometry of the path so that's basically about the uh, shapes and paths and uh, the last but not the least question is the swipe view uh, that's a container uh, it's a container control that 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 wraps around an item of content so it's basically like a context menu items uh, that will be you know displayed upon swipe gestures so the the left and right swipes can be done now and items can be added to which can be associated with certain actions as well so that's all about the swipe uh, uh, view and of course there are few events that are uh, given along with the swipe view that lets us control what can be done along with the swipe actions uh, something which is very nice uh, thing in the recent update of xamarin forms so again the last one ui web view which we, which we have already talked about we don't have to do anything extra if you are using xamarin forms to get through the apple release so that's all about the xamarin forms 5 features and now let's get started to code an application with xamarin forms 5 so just in case if you are new to xamarin forms development uh, all you have to do is just go here click the uh, let it be any platforms even it will be all platforms click the mobile here you have to choose the mobile here by default it will be all type projects click on the mobile here there will be mobile app xamarin forms so you have to choose this project and click on the next so you can choose the location and let's name our application as getting started and let's create the application so you'll be given with op various options to create your applications so by default uh, there is a fly layout which we have talked about and a tab delay page that will be uh, um, showing tabs of pages uh, in xamarin forms and an empty so we, we will we are looking at a very simple applications to just get started with xamarin forms and to experience what it looks like so let me include the uwp project as well and create a blank app Let's go ahead and create a blank app. So, so all all you have to do is you know just follow these steps. Uh, there'll be four projects created. One is the .NET Standard project and uh, three platforms project along with that. So this uh, .NET Standard project will have the common codes, which is the UI and the business logic that is required to be done, and of course the three platform projects. So, which is Android, iOS, and UWP. The Android will have the startup things uh, like activity, whichever is required to start the application in Android. So, let's not do anything extra and run this application on Android. I'm setting it as a startup project. And I already have a Pixel 3X emulator configured. So, let me run this application. So now you could see that uh, the uh, content whichever we have here is created 
uh, so we have a frame which has the label here as the title welcome to xamarin forms and start developing now and the labels with the text whatever we have given it so that's it so we have created a simple xamarin forms application now you can go ahead and start editing this view to design uis of whatever is required to us and let's let's just run this same application on uwp as well all right now you can see that the uwp is also loaded with the same ui which is which is like uh, this the same content which is of course on the in, uh, native look and feel so that's about the ui and uh, for 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 ios you know there is one thing that needs to be taken care of uh, uh we, we were talking about the native specific apis uh, can also be reachable from xamarin forms so one one thing is here we can control the native specific properties of ios using the just from the xamarin forms itself so there is one feature in ios called as safe area layout so we are going to just set that property right from our xamarin here so that's it so if you if you run this project on ios so this will pretty much you know use the safe area and show us the output so there are two ways in running the ios either you can connect your application through a mac agent and see your output to the from the windows itself or you need a, a mac machine to develop the same thing on uh, uh, for apple i have a mac machine here which is readily configured so this exactly has the same project which you have just seen now let me go ahead and run this on ios and see how it looks like in ios fine so you could see that you know the same code uh, which we had run on different platforms the look and feel is entirely different according to the native platforms and you can also see that this application make use of the safe area so that which is you know which we have developed exactly from xamarin forms application without having to write any code on the xamarin forms application so that's all about xamarin forms getting started application so similarly you guys also try developing a simple xamarin forms applications and let me know the feedback thank you